In a lot of ways, I owe my career to Heath Adams, otherwise known as a cyber mentor, and TCM Security, the company that he owns. Because when I first started out in cyber security, I was wasting a lot of money trying to find the right resources and the right training at an affordable price. And a lot of the information I was finding, I later discovered that it wasn't relevant and wasn't actually helpful within the industry. Luckily, after doing some research, I found the cyber mentor, my first cyber security mentor that probably didn't even know I exist, but Nevertheless, I took on every word that he said as a beacon of knowledge within cybersecurity. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how his training and certifications and qualifications have evolved and become some of the most respected cybersecurity certifications within the industry. And before I got into cybersecurity, I was so so much content and Heath Adams being one of the people I was following and I did follow a lot of different people who also helped me on my journey. I might talk about them in a separate video but looking back only a handful were actually useful, relevant and one of the most useful to me personally was the Cyber Mentor and since then the Cyber Mentor, Heath Adams, TCM Security has grown so much and gained so much respect within the cyber security industry and they have a full on academy with certifications, courses, training and they do other cyber security services for companies primarily in America but if we just focus on his education side of the business if you really take a look at it you have the likes of Microsoft Facebook, IBM, the US Army, Homeland Security, McDonald's, Paramount, CAT, Capital One, Tenable, and many, many, many more reputable companies and institutions actually recognize, respect, and request that you have his training or accept them as an alternative to some of the more traditional certifications for cybersecurity. So what I'm trying to say is in recent years, his training and certifications have actually gained so much respect within the cyber security industry and the worldwide now they're recognized and beyond that TCM has actually become one of the biggest competitors for the likes of offensive security SANS and other similar organizations who have been around for decades within cyber security and been offering training and certs and by TCM's courses coming out it's actually in my opinion made those bigger companies have to shift the way they do cyber security training because TCM innovated within cyber security in a brand new way that wasn't really seen before and I think the price just says it all I mean if you think about sound certificates so they cost between eight and ten thousand each which is unaffordable to almost everyone and ridiculously overpriced but the TCM certifications are coming in at around thirty dollars each and some would say actually have better quality in training than the ones that cost the best part of ten thousand so that's one of the great things it's actually affordable and accessible to a lot of people as with most SAN certifications are only really paid for by companies or people who have a lot of money to invest into their training while TCM is almost accessible by anyone all over the world and I think another great thing that he does is he actually offers a lot of like year-round discounts and sometimes they're given away for completely free if you were to follow him on one of his social media platforms he often does this for special occasions or holidays or anniversaries that kind of thing I remember picking up one of his courses for like 99 sense now anyone who's anyone within cyber security knows about and respects the tcm security certifications they're regarded as official or certified and if you put this on your cv it actually holds a lot of weight and i'm not just saying that you have to give tcm their flowers they've actually transformed the cyber security industry and undercut a lot of the more expensive training while actually increasing the quality making the training more realistic and more practical to day-to-day -day life and if you don't believe me just think of this as an example so the OSCP the offensive security certified professional is one of the most well-regarded certifications for ethical hacking and I'll be completely honest and say it does open a lot of doors and is required by a lot of recruiters and HR and people within the industry if you want to go down the ethical hacking route because it's just been around for a long time now the PNPT by TCM security is a direct competitor to that certification and one of the things about the OSCP so I heard these kind of criticisms from people who have the certification that one it's a weirdly structured exam it's a 24 hour slot that you're given so the exam actually runs for 24 hours and in those 24 hours it's supposed to root and break into so many machines and then write a report on how you got in so a lot of people lose sleep or sleep halfway through the exam and wake up and have to continue it which is quite a weird structure 
structure for an exam. But anyway, some of the other issues was that the actual training documentation to help you study for the exam wasn't really updated and you didn't really get something that would actually prepare you for the exam. A lot of people put guides out and said you have to do X, Y and Z on Hack the Box and you have to understand this level of complexity in hacking by being able to achieve this, this and that on other platforms and websites. But that wasn't really a direct thing with OSCP. So that was one of the criticisms that it didn't really prepare you well enough. You kind of had to prepare yourself without their guidance. And I know things have changed now because it has recently been updated. But that is very recent. I've had these issues for quite a few years before the updates were made. Another thing was the support. So if you had issues during the exam or before or you had questions and it took quite a long time to actually get back to you. So that was a major criticism by a lot of people that I've heard say that they had issues leading up to the exam that they weren't really able to support with which of course creates a lot of issues so yeah and when you're paying over a grand for an exam you expect the quality of a you know working environment and people who are able to respond to issues if you do come across them but anyway I still think it's a great certification and it opens up a lot of doors but those are some of the historical issues that they did have which from what I understand have been pretty much resolved now but the genius here is in the structure of the TCM security exams, the PNPT in particular. So a typical penetration test engagement is a company would pay a hacker to come in and conduct a penetration test normally over about a week or so. And at the end of the five days, they provide a report, a little bit of a debrief on what went on, how they got in, what they discovered, what the issues are. And then they have all the kind of actions and steps taken in writing and a report to follow up on. And what TCM security actually did was structure their exam based around this concept of a practical real world penetration test so the exam actually lasts five days where you have that time to actually break into the machines and try and complete the various items within the exam and then you have two days to provide a report and then you also have 15 minutes of a debrief with one of their reviewers or assessors whatever you want to call them and this person will actually grade or judge you on how you present the steps taken within those five days and what you did do which is identical to a real life penetration test engagement and you can see why it's become so popular and well respected by so many notable organizations so that's just a quick side by side glance at the PNPT versus OSCP if you're really passionate about a career in ethical hacking it's probably best to get both but anyway the PNPT is not the only certification that TCM security is well known for. There are so many other certificates that are just great and one of the best ways to get value for your money is you can get like an all access pass similar to like how Netflix would work where you pay a monthly fee. I think it's like $30 a month or you can choose to pay like quarterly, biannually or annually to get some discounts but still $30 a month isn't a stretch for most people and you do have options to gift them and discounts for people in the military and other kind of benefits that you can get around the pricing. Now, if you look at the All Access Pass and actually take a look at what it gives you access to, you do have the Ethical Hacking course, of course, but you do also have courses like Python for Hackers, Rust Programming, and not only that, you actually have a GRC Masterclass created by Gerald Uger, PhD. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. He's very respected and a well-known mastermind in the GRC world. Another amazing one is Practical Malware Analysis and Tree by Matt Kiley or Keeley again sorry for butchering the name and this is a great course I mean you actually get to play around with malware and real viruses and understand how they work and how to analyze them safely in sandboxes and so much more now paying for this and studying and getting certificates as you progress through the academy actually teaches you practical skills that are worth so much in the job market and having these certifications is making it easier to get past HR and hiring managers because of the weight and respect that they hold and just to give you a couple of real life examples I remember recently I was talking to a really good ethical hacker and he was giving some advice to someone who is asking what they should do what steps they should take to get to a position he's in and he actually had the OSCP and a bunch of other really good hacking certifications and he literally said, you need to do the PNPT 
to learn how things actually work and how a penetration test is structured and what it looks like and to gain useful knowledge for the real world. And then you just do the OSCP to get past HR. His words, not mine. And I remember someone else I was speaking to recently as well the other day, actually, a close friend who has the OSCP and other really good certifications. And he said to me, yeah, later on this year, I'm actually going to go for the PNPT. And that wasn't even like a weird statement, which a few years ago it might have been because I knew the quality of the courses and the PNPT will actually make him a better hacker than just having the OSCP alone. And the general sentiment from the people around me, and I can only speak to my experience, is that the OSCP is required for a lot of big jobs, getting past recruiters, getting past HR, and the PNPT is just generally more useful in terms of knowledge learned and practical experience. So yeah, I definitely think you should check the courses out. I will link them in the description. Again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. They probably don't even know I'm making this video. I'm only sharing this because early on in my career, I did the practical ethical hacking course on YouTube, and that's kind of what got me started in cybersecurity. And I think yeah some of the best courses and content out there for ethical hacking and other things and i have been thinking later in this year after i finish some of our primary goals of getting ccsp and a few other projects i've been working on out the way that i want to sign up to the academy and just do whatever interests me so yeah if you're just starting out if you're a beginner if you want to get into cybersecurity, i can wholeheartedly vouch for the quality the experience the knowledge of Heath Adams and the TCM security team. Their courses are, in my opinion, some of the best out there in the industry right now. And it's designed for complete beginners. So you don't even have to know anything to get started. They handhold you through the most basic things you need to do to get started and build up in difficulty as you progress through the course. They hold a lot of weight in the industry once you're certified, once you've passed the courses. So it look great on your LinkedIn and on your CVs. Do as many courses as you can with TCM security. And don't forget to supplement that with try hack me, hack the box, your own research other possible certifications and keep in mind that there are some certifications you may need just to get you past HR recruiters the recruitment team and the TCM security certifications are already enough in a lot of places to get you an interview and are becoming more respected in places that they are less known in so yeah definitely try them out let me know your thoughts comment below if you've got any of the certifications or if you're thinking of taking any be really interested to hear your experience with them and check out my links in the description like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one